In the last session, we have explored templates using CRST Lite. If you have not yet gone through the last session, go through it. In this session, we will create a sample template using CRST Lite. Let us first get into the shoes of authors to see where exactly authors use a template in their content creation workflow. Open site admin, login using admin as user ID, admin as password. In the left pane, go to Geometrics demo site and select English. In the right pane, select New, New Page. You see the title and name this process. Title appears in the web page and name becomes the URL. What you see underneath, near, namely Geometrics content page, Geometrics home page, Geometrics forum, are templates. They define the layout of your page. In that sense, choosing the right template is a fundamental part of content creation. Now log into CRST Lite. Go to Apps folder. We have seen earlier that Apps is the folder where we create templates and components. Inside Apps, create a new folder. Right click Apps, click Create and Create Folder. Type AM hyphen company. This is our sample company. After creating the folder, click save all to save the new folder that you created. Whenever you create a node, folder or property, you need to save explicitly in CRST Lite. In the similar way, inside app, create two more folders, components, Save Templates Now right click Templates Select Create and then Create Template Enter label as home page, title as AEM company home page, description AEM company's home page, resource type as AEM hyphen company slash components slash home page you could leave a ranking as it is it represents the order in which template should appear and a resource type is the sling con resource type property we have seen that it points to the render script. Right now, we have pointed it to a component that doesn't exist. We'll create that shortly. Click Next. Enter a load path property as I have provided here. It means that the template will appear in the content folder where all pages exist. That's a place from where you can select the template. Click next until you see the OK button and click OK. We will see all, all these properties in, de in detail in the coming sessions. Now click save. So you have created your first template. Now let us create the render script. 
we create the render script as a part of the component. We have already seen that a component displays a specific information in a specific format. In this case, the component that we are going to create provides a layout of the page. It is not a component that you can drag and drop to page. We will name the component as home page so that we can identify it as a page component. In other words, in other words it is a component that provides a layout of a page. Right click components, select create, create components. Enter the following details, label as home page, title AEM company home page component, description AEM company's home page component, super type uh, WCM slash foundation slash component slash page, group as AEM company. The super type property is very important. This property decides the component from where you want to inherit properties that decide your page's behavior. You have seen that the pages of the screen have a sidekick, assets tab and so on. A resource type component provides these properties. Click next, next till you see the OK button enabled then click OK. Note that the home page component is created. It also adds a default rendering script called homepage.jsp. I have mentioned earlier that we used to create components using JSPs. That's the reason for having the JSP extension. In this session, we will create the template using Cycle because it is HTML and it is easy, easy to use. Just re rename homepage dot jsp to body dot html and save save again this is a very important step the super type property points to wcm foundation component speech though we have not explicitly mentioned this component exists in the a lib folder. Let us locate it. Navigate to libs uh, libs then uh, WCM. Uh, you have foundation uh, folder here. Page. Uh, this is the component that we inherited. By providing this as the super type, we are inheriting the scripts this component has. Go to page.html it is including two scripts head.html and body.html by having body.html in a components script we are overriding this body.html at the same time we are inheriting head.html head.html will include all those scripts that will provide us the default properties. I have explained in the simplest possible way. Let us have a detailed discussion about this at a later time. You have created your first template now. Now open uh, body.html. Uh, remove the existing text and type my first AM company template. Now we are done with our first template. Let us go to site admin again and create a new page using the 
template that we created just now click new new page AEM company you could see the template that you created uh, here in this box you select this by default it is getting it is selected click create the page is created now double click to open it you can see that this is the sample text that you entered here we will modify this existing template further right now you can see that you won't be able to you don't have a place to drag and drop uh, various components things like that we will modify this template again uh, to make it more user friendly so that's about this session thank you so much for listening when I when I say web page, I mean the web page that authors create.